if you don't put your intentions out there, then the you know, then you're at the mercy of the odds of your subconscious, of your inner programming. Like let's say if you're a pessimistic person or if you're a scared person or if you are an anxious person, then all of those energies will come into play and will play a role in the destination. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Soulful Intuitive. I want to thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel and it's nice to see you again. Today we're going to talk about the power of intention and attention. It's part of the whole law of attraction saga. Uh, we, I think, kind of touched upon it briefly in the past. Um, however, I have been uh, experimenting myself with the power of intention that came to my attention a few years ago when I took a master class on, I was called a business master class, but it was mainly about the law of attraction and how we can muster our personal power in order to bring things to fruition and for manifestation. And I remember that uh, there is a person in my family that I really never had a pleasant conversation with uh, on the phone and someone older than me and every now and then I would have to call that person and say hello out of respect and the conversations were always very one-sided coming from me and uh, I was just getting yeses and noes yet you know it was something that I had to do and I never really looked forward to making those phone calls and after that three-day class I used my power of intention I actually like closed my eyes and I said it out loud you can write it down and you could also say it inside of your head with your inside voice or your inside of your head voice that I intend this phone call to be a pleasant phone conversation I intend to get the love and respect that I deserve and I intend it to be pleasant and to my surprise when I called that person they picked up and they said I'm so excited to be talking to you and thank you so much for thinking of me and giving me a phone call to the point that I was just thinking is this person on medication because this encounter had never happened and just like anything else you know when we learn about something new and we want to form a new habit I did it for a while and then I kind of just stopped, which is the problem with most things that we do. We form a habit, but we don't reinforce it long enough to make it a new habit that we stick to. And then I also remember that I, uh, when we were looking for places to live, as I was getting older with my partner, we had different needs and we were also in a certain budget when it uh, because of our income so it was important for us for example for our place to be close to public transit but it was also important for me in order to uh, so for the places uh, layout to be uh, in a way that I could decorate it properly I also didn't want to look into the traffic or another building. I kind of wanted to see the sky and um, have a good view. And with uh, the budget that we had, it seemed almost impossible to be able to have a place that was big enough for both of us to live in and uh, big, enough, big enough so we can decorate it and have a nice view and be kind of central but not too busy needless to say miraculously it happened the first time and then it happened the second time so it's something that i know works for sure but of course there's so many things we have to do in the morning you know we wake up we have to meditate we have to 
wake up and we have to journal and we have to learn something new and we have to do exercise and we have to center ourselves and we have to again do our intentions because in that class we were told that you do your intention first thing in the morning but you also do your intention instead one of the last things that you do before you go to bed and that's how important it is and then it resonated with me in a lot of ways because when for example you're we are going shopping uh not window shopping but when you need something you're very like focused um on exactly what you're trying to find um like sharply focused on let's say i'm looking for a pair of pants or i'm looking for a workout gear i'm looking for piece of furniture and because that is your intention to find that piece usually um for no rhyme and reason you find yourself in a store for example that you've never been to before you found you find yourself at part of the store that was out of sight and out of reach and you find exactly what you're looking for and that's because of your intention because first you do your intention and then you shift your attention to what you're intending to achieve so for example um i'm sure everybody knows what wordle is but basically it's uh it's a word puzzle and uh, my new york times so you know i do it every morning like most people and uh it has like you get you get five or six tries i think i think it's six tries and uh and i've been putting this uh power and intention to test and in the morning i'm like okay i'm going to get it in three tries i intend to get it in three tries and uh um, yeah, this morning it literally i literally got it in three tries the day before i got it in four tries the day for that um cuz usually in the past i would always get it but i would always get it at like the fifth try or the sixth try and because i wasn't intending to have a certain result and that's uh, something that you guys all can try you can just before you do something let's say it's something as simple as playing a word puzzle just say i intend to get it done this quickly or i intend to get it done in how many tries and once that practice brings you confidence that this technique works then you can put it to work in any way you want so one of the things i do in the morning after when i did my breath work then i just close my eyes as i'm doing it and i first of all i think about certain words because words have power and words have vibration so then i think about words like abundance and health and miracles and hope and joy and peace and harmony and and prosperity and health and wealth and serendipity all these very high vibrating words and so i can align with it so my energy can align with it because for example we don't really have anything as poverty poverty is just when you're not connected with abundance so when you're disconnected from abundance then you experience poverty in all kinds of ways and poverty is not just you know financial poverty can be you know poverty in your relationships poverty in uh education poverty in just uh feeling good in vital energy you know uh in a poor house for example that's in the form of poverty so i say these words in my uh in my head and i repeat them you can also write them down because it does just the same thing and then i go through my intentions in my head i say i intend to have an amazing day i intend to uh be a good artist to be a conduit for divine inspiration and creativity i intend to be safe and i put intentions for where we live um for everything to just be you know our roof our piping everything to be working properly to be safe to be operational then i uh just do intentions for how am i going to get to work then i do intentions for 
the financial goals that we have, that I have intention for the relationship goals that I have, let's say with my friends, with my cork or with my partner, then I go over the intentions I have for my health and for my mental health. And then I uh, like whatever specifically that is um, on my agenda to achieve or it's something that maybe is pending that I would like it to go a certain way, then I do intentions for that. And um, just like that, you are shifting your focus on uh, like a certain results, you know, and just like anything else, just like anything else is not a 100% of the time working exactly the way you want, because sometimes what we intend is not aligned with our best um, or highest purpose. And so the universe sometimes has better things for us that we couldn't even think of. For example, let's say, why well, intend to go on a date with this person and have an amazing date? And you might go out on a date with this person and have an amazing date, but that's not going to be the date that then will eventually turn into that perfect relationship. So it could go that way, but then that person might stop calling you or you might just get busy and not call them back. And then before you know it, it's gone and done with, and then you meet someone else or like a job interview. But the best way to explain it is if you don't put your intentions out there, then the, you know, then you're at the mercy of the odds of your subconscious, of your inner programming like let's say if you're a pessimistic person or if you're a scared person or if you are an anxious person then all of those energies will come into play and will play a role in the destination of that particular matter but if you if you center yourself and if you bring your own power of intentions into this game then you're sort of in a driver's seat and you will be amazed at how quickly and how smoothly sometimes things will go. And uh, I've even tried it when I'm working sometimes and sometimes as a hairstylist when you're doing color correction, you come into these scenarios that you weren't anticipating because people maybe didn't tell you that they had under pigments or maybe they did some dyes in the past that they forgot to tell you or they didn't tell you because they thought that you might say no. So as you're working, then you come come across these scenarios. They're a little scary and chaotic. And I sometimes I just tell myself like, you know what, this is going to go well. I intend for this to go well. I intend for this to look great. And guess what? It will go that way as opposed to, let's say, taking the foils off and then see these like colors that you didn't know were going to be there and because you're uh, you're lifting some of its existing colors and oh you're like oh now you have orange and now you have you know red set so instead of like going to the place of fear which then will engage your automatic programming you will center yourself put your attention in there and nine out of ten you arrive exactly at it's gonna look great because it will look great and then it is great and um i really encourage everyone to bring this into part of their daily routine and daily practice and some of you might think oh well there's so much that i need to do in the morning well yeah but you know what uh, every day is a new day and every day uh, needs and deserves to have direction needs and deserves to have the proper energy the proper uh the, the, the proper intentions because then you will know how that day will go regardless of what might happen during the day so it's and 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 then you know that you already like set up your mind you're set up your soul and then you're set up your actions based on that direction that the intention gives you 
in order to go on for the rest of that day with all your tasks and and I do um, do it every morning and I see results and then I just uh, kind of just get upset that why did I get out of that habit because I used to take public transit and every day when I was on the bus I would just write down my intention I intend to have that many clients I intend to make this much money I intend to have a great conversation with my coworkers. I intend to uh, look great I intend to have a great workout I intend to you know all of these things and I would write it down and you know one after another things would happen but but then you know life happens and then a lot of those things you want to achieve you achieve and then you forget how you've achieved it and then you forget to do the things that helped you in the past and uh and but you know what the universe is so gracious and so amazing because we are always reminded of the things that we know but we don't apply in our lives in order to make our lives better you know everybody knows that for example if you eat better you feel better and if you uh, if you exercise you will have more energy and if you go to bed at a certain time you'll have a better sleep but guess what we all fall um into these negative or unhealthy habits and uh we even though we know that we don't do it and then then we feel crappy then we have bad sleep and so just like that just like those things using these methods uh, we that we all know inside deep inside it works uh like we do it and then we forget to do it but then once we kind of go through slumpy life and kind of see that nothing's really working then we just seek out ways through which we can better our lives and then we come across these methods and we're like oh yeah we we knew these methods worked in the past and uh so then we just bring it back so i would encourage you guys to do it and then you will see the amazing results and sure then your life will be more aligned with how you want your life to be and the directions that you want your life to go and in in most religions actually organize or even all these strange religions the power of intention is very important for example when you want to let's say fast you say i intend to fast for that many days for that many hours for the good of good, good of god or for the good of whoever that you're doing that for or like when you want to let let's say do some charity you say i intend for this charity event to go this way or i intend for all this money to be collected for this and uh, even when you're saying your prayer you always say that i'm intending this prayer to be sent out to heavens or uh, if you're if you have loved ones who passed away when you say prayer for them you say i intend this prayer or the benefits of this prayer to let's say go to the soul of my grandmother or, or or my father or like whoever who's deceased and you want to bless or even when you do blessing you always bring your intentions this this blessing is uh intended for this person or for this place and um so that's how important power with tension is because it's always been around and it's built in into a lot of our rituals it's built in into a lot of our prayers it's built into even when let's say we go to school we like the first day of school they always give a speech that you know like this is this is intended to be uh, a great year we're gonna see each other for nine months and you know let's say if you're you know an undergrad or in high school or middle school so the intentions always set off the path and how it's going to go and for how long and and the quality of it so it's 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 wisdom it's uh it's old wisdom and uh so we should bring it into our daily habits and we'll see the results and we'll be very happy that we did it and uh if you if you have friends and family members who um, aren't really familiar with this i would really uh encourage you to share that little bit of magic with them thank you very much for watching another episode and i will see you in our next one thank you very much bye